G-Scatter is a very powerful scattering tool comprised of four panels, the outliner, effects layers, optimization, and info. The first three panels feature different options for scattering assets in your scene, while the info panel contains links to news, help files, and grass filed social media channels. In this video, we're going to talk about the G-Scatter outliner and how to set up a scatter system. The first thing to do is create an emitter. I'm going to use a simple plane, but it could be any object. In the emitter area, you can select an emitter object, either by choosing one from the drop-down list or by using the eyedropper tool and then clicking on an object in the viewport. Once you have an emitter, you can then add some assets for scattering. This can be done in a couple of ways. The first is to click on the library button to open up the G-Scatter asset browser. Here you can choose from the grass filed assets you have downloaded by clicking on the asset name, choosing from the available options for that asset, I'll leave these at their defaults for now, and clicking on either add to scene, which will add a single plant, or by clicking on scatter selected, which will scatter the plant for you so you can tweak later. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed that when you click on scatter selected, well, there are no plants. It actually looks like a bunch of colored rocks. The reason for this is that Gscatter has proxies switched on by default. Using proxies means that we can protect system resources and keep the viewport running smoothly, which is really useful when you have lots of assets in your scene. But I don't want to see colored rocks. I hear you cry. No worries, we can switch proxies off. Just click on the circle icon here and boom, plants. I'll add another scatter system so that we can more clearly see how the layer controls work. By the way, We'll be covering the Effect Layers panel in more detail in another video very soon, but this is where you can create different looks for your scatter systems. In the meantime, feel free to dive in and have a play around with all the options. Okay, back to the G-Scatter Outliner. We now have two scatter systems and we can switch proxies on and off. You can control the color of the proxies for each system by clicking on this square and choosing from the palette. This is useful for identifying the different scatter systems as proxies in your viewport. Other controls in the individual scatter system layers handily mimic the Blender Outliner. These are layer visibility. Just click on the eye icon to turn that layer off and on. And we also have a camera icon that controls render visibility. If you turn this off for a layer, the scatter system won't show up in a render. Going down through the other G-Scatter Outliner options on the right hand side, we have presets. Now, this will be covered in much more detail in another video, but essentially you can create a look for a scatter system using effects layers and save it as a preset to use again on other scatter systems. Underneath the presets option are the plus and minus buttons, which are used to add and remove scatter systems. I can scatter an asset by clicking on an object in my scene and then clicking on the plus button. I can then remove it again by clicking on the minus button. I'll just undo that though, so that we have that layer in our outliner. Next is the duplicate button. Any selected layer in the outliner will be duplicated if you click on this. Really useful if you just want to quickly use the same scatter system assets, but change some of the parameters. And last but not least, the arrow buttons here allow you to move individual layers up and down in your layer stack, so you can keep scatter systems ordered in the way you prefer. Okay, that's the G-Scatter Outliner covered. You now know how to add an emitter, create a scatter system and control the way it appears, and use the other options such as adding, removing, duplicating, and reordering scatter systems in the layer stack. Thanks for watching.